What's going on YouTube? Dio, AKA Bonds, Urban Tech Reviews. And today on the channel, I'll be doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy Buds. All right, now you can get these on samsung.com or I got mine from Verizon Wireless. Now they're gonna run you 130 bucks and they come in three different colors. You can get them in black, white, or yellow. All right, let's get into a little bit of the specs before we open these up. Uh, they have six hours battery life or seven hours with the charging case. It has Bluetooth 5.0, two microphones, wireless charging capability, and touch controls. All right, so let's open these up real quick. After we look at the box, tells you about the six hours of playtime, seven hours with the charging case, clear call and sound quality, wireless charging, design for comfort and stability. All right, and these are uh, sound by AKG. So Samsung is partnering with AKG to uh, do their thing with these earbuds. Samsung on the inside of the box. You open this up and you get a black charging cable, which is a USB type C to regular USB. Loving that. You get these wing tips. And here, I'm not gonna take all these out because I don't plan on using them. All right, you got the wing tips, and then we got the black charging case. All right, so I busted out the S8 Plus because my wife is currently using her uh, S10 Plus, so I'm not gonna be able to show you the wireless charging capability, but you know it's there. So you know that you can set it on top on the back of your S10 or any uh, Samsung device that has that feature and it'll charge the device. So we know that, all right? So we open it up and this is what we look like. We got left and right indicators and this is what the bud look like. You got a right indicator on there so there's a left on the other. You got the two uh, charging terminals right there. Oh, you got a little speaker I mean, not speaking, you got a microphone right there, and you can press these because they have a touch feature that gives you options once you, uh, you know, open up that feature. All right, so the right is similar. I mean, the left is similar, nothing uh, extra really to look at. But uh, charging case, you see, it has the uh, USB Type-C charger port, which is dope because now you only need one charger to charge one of these at a time. Or, you know, if you had your S10 and, you know, both of them were low on battery, you could put it this your S10 into a uh, power share or whatever, charge that, your S10 with the core, S10 Plus with the core, flip it over, put this on the back of your S10 and charge them both at the same time. That's dope right there. Samsung, you outdid yourself. I'm telling you, boy. But, uh... Uh, that's the main features of these. I'm going to show you how to pair these real quick. So if you open them up and you go into your Galaxy wearables app, it has uh, pick your device. So you have a few different devices that you can pick. Now you see the Samsung Galaxy Buds are right here. So you click the Samsung Galaxy Buds and then it will uh, ask you for some permissions and stuff like that. You OK on the permissions turn on Bluetooth that wasn't turned on and then you go through all the permissions and allow all of these things and then your device will start it pairing will start pairing up it says devices spotted nearby pick the device you want to connect to all right so we're gonna let these do their thing whatever they doing and uh, then we're gonna get into it so you see galaxy buds popped up on there, click that, and that pairing process will begin. It shows you that the buds are 100%. Turn the volume up, ringtone volume, and then you got a couple more things that you have to allow. So you do all that, report that. All right, so then you select the apps that you want to come in on your phone, on your earbuds. I'm not going to do all of these. Uh, I'm going to do incoming phone call. We'll do messages, missed call. 
and uh, do Netflix, and that'll be it. All right, we're not gonna do a whole bunch of messages. All right, so now it's saying getting to know your Galaxy Buds. So using the touchpad, if you tap it once, you can play or pause the track. Uh, we got more. And then uh, if you double tap it, you can play next track or answer or end a phone call. If you triple tap it, you can play the previous track. And if you touch and hold, with the, if you go into the user's choice and change it in the settings, you can do a couple different things, but you can decline a phone call. All right, now with ambient sound, uh, ambient sound, turn on to amplify sounds from your surroundings so you can stay aware of what's going on around you. You can also set ambient sound to make voices stand out more clearly than other sounds. Quick ambient sound, touch and hold, to turn down media volume and turn up ambient sound temporarily, you can select this option in the settings. All right, so this is for people who wear these all the time. You're gonna be walking out in the streets and somebody, so you know, you run into somebody you know and you're talking to them, you uh, hold it in and um, you press it and hold it in and you can down turn down the media temporarily so you can hear uh, this person talking and to uh, permanently turn ambient sound on you just go into the settings turn it on and then you got that and you can pair this with uh, a phone or tablet if you wanted to do that it shows you the case uh, battery uh, charge level and all of that and that's a dope feature all right so we're getting into it everything is set up it shows you your uh, air buzz right here they're both at 100 percent all right, we got an equalizer down here as well. So the equalizer, uh, you have bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, and treble boost. You got your notifications, which you can switch. You got the touchpad, and uh, if you lock the touchpad, then if you touch it, then you won't have, it won't go through any of the uh, settings that you have it on. Now, both of the earbuds right now are paired to voice command. So if I change the left one, I'll change the left one to ambient sound, and then the right one I'll leave on uh, voice command. So we back out of there. You can do find my contacts. You can put ambient sound on both uh, earbuds, and you can go about uh, earbuds, check that stuff out, and about Galaxy wearables. So if we go into the equalizer, mode you can see you can adjust it to the sound settings or volumes or whatever that you want uh that set to and uh that's the uh galaxy wearables app right there where it shows you you know how to maneuver through your earbuds and uh, galaxy buds and stuff like that another feature on here that is really hot is the find my earbuds feature so if you go into galaxy buds and then you see find my earbuds is right here so if you just click that then you can start it's going to ring both uh earbuds right and left because they're both connected so you click that you hear that all right so let's say i found the left and i didn't find the right so I found the left one, so I can mute the left one. Now only the right one is, is ringing. All right. Dope feature right there. Oh, I love that feature. All right, so wrapping up this review, uh, these Samsung Galaxy Buds are dope. All right. I like these a lot. I like them a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, but I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna give you my likes and my dislikes real quick before we wrap this up and get out of here. All right, now my only dislikes, I'm gonna do the dislikes first because I only got one. My only dislikes about these earbuds, the Find My Buzz feature doesn't work if your earbuds are dead. That's kind of crappy, all right? So if you happen to lose these, your earbuds, and they're dead, the Find My Buzz feature is not going to work. That is terrible, but that's the only dislike about these AirBuds that I have at all. All right, now let's get into the likes. I got a few of them. 
the fit of these are uh, great. You know what I mean? I love the way this just fits into your ear, goes into your ear canal. This kind of sits in that little lip you got at the top part of your ear. It kind of just goes right in there. It's like a perfect fit. You know what I mean? I love the way that these fit. Uh, they, they just fit really well. They don't hurt your ear. You can keep a man for an hour, two, however long, and you're not really going to even notice that you're wearing them, and you're, they're not going to ear they're not going to hurt you. So like some air buds that you wear, you get air fatigue. That's where your ear starts hurting because you know, this has been in your ear so long it starts hurting. You're not going to get that with this. You're not going to get that. And that's dope. Uh, the build quality. These are really nice. Uh, the little charging port parts on there, the, uh, ear piece that goes into your ear. I love it. Uh, Everything about these as far as build quality is legit. Uh, the speakers, the microphone, not the speakers, but the microphone, the touch pads, all of this is legit. You know what I mean? You can't really uh, complain about that feature. Well, I can't. The look of them is really good. Um, we all know that, you know, these are, are the Samsung AirBuds, but, you know, they're not as um, recognizable, I would say, as the uh, Apple AirPods, you know what I mean? You see somebody with that stem hanging out the air, you know they got AirPods. You see somebody with a pair of these, you might not know what they have, you know what I mean? So are they recognizable to some, but they don't have the notoriety that the AirPods have. But that's not a bad thing. These still look hot and you still gonna be good. Uh, the sound of these is excelente uh, from musics, uh, music to YouTube videos to movies to uh, call quality all of that stuff is gonna be legit All right, so you ain't gonna have no problems with any of those uh, Features when it comes to sound um, Latency no latency when it came to video watching phone calls anything everything was on point crisp clear and it was dope All right, so definitely giving them the thumbs up for working out the latency issues because it kind of had an issue with that with the uh, Samsung Gear Icon X's. They kind of had some latency uh, issues with them. These don't have that problem. The wireless charge feature that I told you about but I couldn't show you, uh, that feature is definitely uh, dope. Definitely something that I would see myself using um, if I had this phone or these earbuds or whatever, I would definitely see myself using it if I had this in like an S10 Plus or something. My wife is definitely going to use that feature, I guarantee it. Um, color options. When it comes to these, you know what I mean? You only get three, but three is better than one. You know what I mean? So you got more than one option, and that's a plus in my book. So I'm rocking with the colors. Uh, black to me is going to be the more incognito, but... All the other colors is going to be dope too. I like to keep it black, you know what I mean, to keep it plain Jane. I ain't, you know, trying to show off or nothing like that. Uh, the USB Type C charging, I love that because now you can use one charger for your phone as well as your earbuds. That's definitely uh, a nice feature, and you ain't got to look for a micro USB charger and all that stuff because they all rock the same charger. Battery life on these, they say you get six hours. I'm not going to complain about six hours. You know, most times I'm not going to be wearing these for six hours anyway. And if I'm going to really sit back and watch a movie or something on my phone or to where I'm using headphones, I got over the ear joints for that. I'm not going to stress these for six hours at a time. It's just not going to happen. Uh, ambient sound mode is one of the hottest features on these. Like I said, uh, to sit there and just turn it on and then be able to hear outside noises and whatever else is going on around you. That's a, a hot feature, you know, for anybody who's a cyclist, anybody who's, you know, walking or doing whatever you're doing, and, you know, you need to hear the outside around you. You don't know if a car honking on you, you don't know if there's a shooting going on, you don't know if there's an ambulance, fire truck, you know, whatever going on around you, if you got ambient sound turned on, you're going to hear it. You know what I mean? That's a nice feature to have. And to one touch the ambient, you know, and hold in the left ear or the right ear and then just be able to, you know, turn it on for a pre for a little time and then let it go. Hot feature to have. Um, touch controls are definitely hot. Um, I love it. Uh, I wish there was a couple more options. Um, I tried to turn the volume up and down like you used to do on the uh, Icon X's. I couldn't get it to work. Maybe it's just me. But I haven't read that that's a, even a feature, but I figured, you know, if it was on the Icon X's, that it would transfer over to the newer set, but maybe not. You know what I mean? Um, 
the uh, Find My Buzz feature, uh, like I said, is kind of a, a gift and a curse because if these aren't charged, then you can't uh, find them if they're dead. But if, as long as they're not dead, and you didn't lose them a couple days ago or something like that, or they just hold on to that little bit of charge, you'll be able to get a chime out of them and hear something uh, for them. Uh, the equalizer on this was okay. Like I said, um, I couldn't hear a difference between all the, the settings, but I could between the bass boost and the... Um, was it the, the clear bass boost and um, the uh, treble, the treble one? I can hear differences in, in those three. The other two, I think there is, I couldn't really hear much of a difference, but it's still a nice feature to have. All right, but all in all, um, could I recommend these? Yes. Uh, would I recommend these if you had the Icon X's? Yes, get these. Get rid of your Icon X's, sell them to somebody who's too cheap to buy these. Price on these is good. Quality on these is good. Look on these are good. Everything on this is good. I'm really feeling these and, you know I mean? I can't find much that I don't like about these. And if you have an iPhone, don't shy away from these. You can pair these to an iPhone. You can use these with an iPhone and you'll be good. All right? So that right there in itself is super dope you know what i mean so don't think that oh i got an iphone i can't get these no you're not limited to not being able to use these you can get these too so don't think you gotta have the stem you can get them <laughs> ah that was corny i know i know but it's a doaka bonds urban tech reviews if you like this video click that thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the Android guy in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, then all you got to do is go into the description, click on every one of them links, and follow me on every one of my social media sites. And we out. Thank you.